Welcome back everyone. I love this next story. Local veterans are getting the chance to step in front of the camera and share their stories. It's part of the Veterans Portrait Project making its way across the country and it stopped here in Albuquerque. News 13's Jamie Seymour is here to report. I really bought into all the things that the doctors were telling me I couldn't do. And After sustaining injuries while serving in Iraq, Stacy Pearsall was forced to discover a new plan for her life. It took a World War II veteran I'd met at the VA to um, spark life back into um, my career and, and myself. Combining her passion for photography and the military, Pearsall set out on hearing the stories of our nation's veterans and conveying them through the art of a portrait. Many of them have never had an opportunity to share their story with somebody who understands it. One veteran says he's blessed for the opportunity. I am um, just flabbergasted. I don't know. It's it is really a treat. Another drove hours just to work with Pearsall, who she's admired for years. It is a bit of a of a drive, but um, I was like, it's worth it just to come up here and get my picture taken and seeing how she gets the job done. Pearsall says listening to the experiences is humbling. I've met veterans who've been the, the lone survivor of uh, an IED blast in Iraq one of only two survivors from a helicopter crash in Vietnam. And the stories behind these pictures are worth well more than a thousand words. And they are the ones who say, I don't know why you want to know my story. But they are the ones whose stories are so important to American military history. Oh, yes. Jamie Seymour, KRQE News 13. And the Veterans Portrait Project's next stop will be at the National World War II Museum in New Orleans later on this week.